I'm Anil Kumar. We are discussing optimization, that is, application of derivatives. The question here is, an isosceles triangle is inscribed in a circle of radius 12 centimeters. Find the maximum area of this triangle. So, well, let's sketch. We have a circle, right? So, let's say this is the circle. And within this circle, we have one isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle means that we have equal set of sides just for two of them are equal right so let us say these are equal sides that's the isosceles triangle for us and let me drop a perpendicular uh, from the top so that looks like the figure for us so imagine this is a perfect circle in which we have a triangle so three vertices are on the circle and uh, we are given that the radius is 12 if the radius is 12, let me kind of uh, sketch it uh, in this fashion so that, oh, and then, okay, this is the radius. Okay, fine. So what we are given here is that the radius of this circle is 12, and that gives you uh, this side, which is 12, right? This is 12 for you. Now we need to find maximum area of inscribed triangle. Triangle inscribed in a circle. How to go about okay let us think that uh, this side of the triangle is x and this is also x and let us take this from the center to this end as y now in that case how are x and y related so in this small triangle let me say this point is o let me label it be easy for us to discuss a b c let's call this point as d in that case uh, o d which is y for us is equal to what well this dimension is the radius is also 12 so from the triangle uh, let's say BOD let me write this as BDO which is a right angle triangle we know that x square plus y square equals to 12 square so that is what we get this is one equation now uh, from here we can write what x is so we can write what x is so we can say uh, x is equals to 12 square is 144 144 minus y square square root so that is what x is now let us find uh, the height of the triangle which is ad so ad will be equals to 12 plus y 12 plus this is OD is Y. Okay, perfect. Now, knowing X and Y, we can write down area of triangle. So, we'll write area of triangle uh, is equals to triangle ABC, we are saying, right? So, triangle ABC. Half base, half of base is 2 times X, correct? 2X. Half base into height, which is AD, and this height AD could be written as 12 plus y. So, half base into 12 plus y. So, that is how we get the area equation. Now, second step is, we need to write this equation in one variable. So, I'll replace x with that square root function. Okay. So, that is how we could replace x with. So, we get this equation as half and 2 cancel out. Okay, that's good. So, let's cancel this out. So we have x times 12 plus y and x is equal to 144 minus y square. So we'll write this as square root of 144 minus y square times 12 plus y. So that is the area and all this area is in terms of y. So I'll write area as a function of y. Perfect. To maximize what can we do? To maximize, we can find the derivative and find critical number, right? So let's find the derivative for this function, which is, apply the product rule. Derivative of the square root part is 1 over 2, square root of 144 minus y square, times uh, minus 2y, right? Minus 2y. So let me write this minus 2, make this as y, okay, minus 2y. So that is the derivative of this function times 12 plus y plus 
derivative of this function is 1 times this which is square root of 144 minus y square. So that becomes the derivative. We can equate this derivative to 0 to find the critical number. So this I have done to find critical number. Great. Now, so what we can do now is multiply by, so 2 and 2 cancels again, multiply by the square root term. So if I multiply by square root term, then we can actually simplify it more, right? So what we will do now, first let's multiply and say 0 equals 2. So if I, or we can take common denominator, it is one and the same thing. So we'll take common denominator 144 minus y squared. Here we have minus y times this. So we have minus y times 12 plus y. And when you multiply this, the square root goes. So we get plus 144 minus y squared. Do you see that? So, so that is what we get. Now we need to simplify the derivative to get the critical numbers. So this can be 0 if the numerator is 0, right? So, so what we have here is numerator which is equal to 144 minus y square and here we have minus y 12 plus y. You see this is like 12 square minus y square. So 12 plus y is a common factor, right? So that is kind of a tricky part. So what we want to do here is we want to write this as, uh, see, this is 0 equals 2. Let me write this as 144 minus y square could be written as 12 plus y minus 12 minus y, right? So that is this part, correct? Minus that part, which is y times 12 plus y. You get the idea. So the numerator can be written this in factor form. This is a very critical step to understand. It helps to find the, the critical number. You could actually expand and then also do. That is also equally good. Minus y square minus y square will cancel and you'll easily find the value also, correct? Anyway, I prefer to do factoring here. So 12 plus y is common factor. So we are left with uh, 12 minus y and here we get minus y, right? So 12 plus y and 12 plus y is a common factor. So we are left with 12 minus y. Now these are 0 for y equals to minus 12, but y cannot be 0. Uh, y cannot be negative, but this gives us a value of 6, right? Minus y minus y. We just write as 12 plus y times 12 minus 2y. So that is 0 for y equals to 6. So y equals to 6 is our critical number. Perfect. Well, you could have expanded and got that easy, no problem. So you could have easily done it. When you square y times y, they cancel out. Minus 12y equals to 144, and you get your answer, which is Okay, so the critical number is y equals to 6. We need to now show that for y equals to 6, the area is indeed maximum. Now there are a couple of ways to do this from here. What we can do is we can see what is the limit of the y value. y could be from 0 to 12, right? Because it is within the circle. So we have a boundary condition here, which is y is between 0 to 12, right? So that is the boundary condition, and our critical number is y equals to 6. So we need to test the value 
of area with these three values correct so we'll find the area which for us is in terms of y written here half base into height we got this formula right so area for zero if i write y as zero in this area what do i get i get square root of 144 right minus y square zero times times 12 right so that is one if i write so let us use this value we know square root of 144 is 12 12 times 12 is 144 anyway let us calculate so square root of 144 is equals to 12 times 12 is also 144 so this is 144 okay similarly let us find area for 12 so if I write 12 here so I get square root of 144 minus 144 times 12 plus 12 now 12 plus 12 is 24 so we get 24 this time right now that is one the third is for six so let's find area when y is six so we have square root of 144 minus six square times 12 plus six equals to how much so we have square root of 144 minus six square which is equal to 6 square root 3 will multiply this by 12 plus 6 which is 18 and that gives us 187.06 so comparing these values what do we find that the maximum is for y equals to 6 correct so maximum is for y equals to 6 now the question is an isosceles triangle is inscribed in a circle of radius 12 centimeters find the maximum area of this triangle correct so you have to read the questions so that you can exactly answer so the answer here is maximum area should be 187 and the units are centimeter square right so approximately 187 centimeter square i hope with this the steps are absolutely clear so first sketch to represent the situation define your variables relate the variables so that you could write one in terms of another we use Pythagorean theorem right angle triangle to get relation between X and Y then write the expression for the area find the derivative critical number boundary conditions and then get your answer so these are the steps which should generally be followed to solve any optimization question I hope that helps thank you and all the best.